Hi, welcome to Seven Sons Amplitude Prep. I'm your friend Vinod Prabhu. Today we are going to look at another uh, set of idioms, idioms which are grouped according to the word bury, bury or grave. We will look at idioms uh, based on this particular theme. Let us look at the first idiom. Bury the hatchet. Do all of us know what a hatchet uh, means? A hatchet is something similar to this. Hmm? So, let me give you the background for this. When the Native Americans, and people who used to be in America before uh, it was colonized, before the foreigners came in, when they had a conflict with someone, they would sit and discuss with them. And if it was sorted, they would then bury their hatchets, they would bury their knives, they would bury uh, all the weapons, and uh, leave it at that. This meant, so when weapons like these were buried, right, under the ground, when weapons like these were buried under the ground, they did not have any other uh, weapons to fight. And so it meant that I don't have any more weapons. I'm not going to fight. Let us solve this issue or this issue is solved. Uh, let us be friends. So that was the background. So can you remember this background hatchet? Hatchet, if you don't remember, think of a knife. Okay, think of a knife. Think of a sickle. And think of all of this. Those are the weapons that are buried. So the usage, the mafia dons knew that the only way they could survive the new police commissioner, meaning the police commissioner is now strict. These guys can't fight amongst each other. Okay. So they have to be friends. And for the was for both of them to bury the hatchet. Hmm? Settle the dispute, become friends and settle differences. I have seen the background story about Native Americans burying their hatchets and their weapons if they sorted out their issues. Let's look at the next one. Bury one's head in the sand. Let's see the sentence in which it is used first to see if it gives us some context. The young man who was stumped just buried his head in the sand and ignored his feelings. What do you expect a young man who is stumped to be? You would expect him to be emotional, crying, shouting, feeling sad, angry, whatever are those, but there are emotions that come out. But this guy buried his head in the sand and ignored his feeling. Meaning these two are linked. Burying your head in the sand and ignoring something are linked. Let us see the background to it. What do you think ostriches do when there is trouble? You know, ostrich, the reason I say think is because they don't actually do this. But many people think that when there is trouble, when uh, ostriches sense danger, they do this. This is when they are feeding, but many people think they do this when they have danger. They think there is sand here, there is this bird, but it puts its head, uh, it puts its head in the sand. That is what people think it does. So, what do you think it means? One is ignoring. The second is an ostrich doing this when there is trouble. Okay, burying one's head in the sand is to avoid a particular situation by pretending it does not exist. The equivalent Hindi is. Billy aank band karke doodh peeti hai to samajhti hai koi nahi dekhta hai so if we pretend it doesn't exist if we pretend it's not happening we think it is really not happening huh? burying one's head in the sand is to avoid a situation by pretending it does not exist another or a final nail in the coffin if you see a coffin <coughs> these nails when these nails are hit it means it is being ready. There is going to be a death soon. So this structure was built. Now these nails ensures that there is going to be a death soon. Hmm? That is what another nail in the coffin is. Finally in the coffin is once all of this is hit. If this is the last, last nail to be hit. It's the final nail in the coffin. Another nail in the coffin. Let us see the usage. The wrong decision by the manager was another nail in the coffin for the company. See coffin signifies death or end hmm? the wrong decision by the manager again you see here the wrong decision the wrong decision is leading to downfall of the company right so there's a death of the company so to speak so here another nail in the coffin what do you think it means this is leading to more problems hmm? coffin is for dead bodies and in the coffin is preparing for someone's death that is the story what is the actual meaning of this sentence? Event that causes the failure of something that has already started to fail. Here the company is 
losing money but the wrong decisions are making it lose even more or making it shut down okay this is another nail in the coffin another event another event uh, that causes something that has already started to fail to fail final nail means this is there is no hope it has confirmed that this is the end hmm? another nail is on the way to the end final nail is the end so we looked at bury the hatchet bury one said in the sand and final nail in the coffin let's look at few more dance on someone's grave let us see uh, its usage he told his enemies that once his son joined the mob the mob is italy for the mafia right okay it is for the what we call as underworld here that is this is what is called in uh, in the us and uh, uh, in other countries where there are these goons so he told his enemies that once his son joined the mob the two would dance on their enemies graves so he is saying that now he is feeling a little weak he wants he is waiting for his son to join once this is done what happens he gets enough strength okay physical strength strength of um, um, muscle money then he would dance on their enemy's grave if a is fighting with b okay and in the end there is b's grave and a is dancing on it hmm? who do you think has won has b won no a has won right a has won so a has won so what do you think these two uh, both the sentence at the beginning and this pictorial depiction mean so see this is batman what do you think this is this is probably joker's grave batman is dancing on joker's grave so who do you think is one batman hmm? remember this picture remember this story it's to celebrate a person's death it may not always be death it could always be downfall downfall is like a defeat hmm? so to pass to celebrate it celebrate someone's death or to celebrate their defeat and is dancing on someone's grave hmm? again a negative uh, idiom something that we don't expect or we don't use if you have to say something positive about a person hmm? dance on someone's grave dig your own grave that's the fifth idiom in uh, bury and dig see this generally people don't dig their own graves once they die someone else digs their grave right but here the person is digging his own grave and he is not happy see here he is not happy hmm? let us use it in a sentence remember this picture let us use it in a sentence when he laughed at the superior's accent in front of him the new recruit dug his own grave first of all the recruit is new he is laughing at someone's accent in the company that someone is a superior what do you think would happen to the new recruit the new recruit might be fired the new recruit might be given very tough projects the new recruit might be made to do a lot of work all of these things right so he is digging his own grave Hmm? so digging his own grave what do you think it now means think that doing this all of this right all of the laughing at in front of the superior he is going to damage them hmm? when does someone dig their own grave and you know that it is going to be my death soon and i'm pretty sure so i'm i'm so certain that it is going to destroy me that i will dig my own grave to do something that causes you harm sometimes very serious harm any habit like say um, i will continue to smoke cigarettes i know i'm digging my own grave and to do something that causes you harm here we looked at five idioms we said bury the hatchet which is to settle differences huh? settle differences and start a friendship next is bury your head in the sand Uh, which is to avoid problems by imagining uh, that they don't exist hmm? we had final nail in the coffin or another nail in the coffin final nail in the coffin another nail in the coffin which is to say that this is leading to uh, destruction or a lot of problems the nail in the coffin then he said dancing on someone's grave is to celebrate someone's uh, death or defeat in a very triumphant manner dancing on someone's grave and then we had dig your own grave which is to do something deliberately that causes you a lot of harm okay so these are the 
फाइव ऑन फाइव एडियम्स ऑन बरी डेथ एंड ग्रेव सो आई वॉन्ट टू से इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक दिस वे वेर वी टीच विद पिक्चर्स विद स्टोरीज विद यूजेज विद मीनिंग एंड हेल्प यू रिमेंबर द वीडियम्स प्लीज क्लिक ऑन द थम्स अप बटन Uh, like our videos comment on our videos share our videos with your friends share our youtube channel with your friends subscribe and click on the bell icon and if you need more practice please visit our website wilsonstalent.com um, register and then use our free resources available there thank you so much for your time once again have a lovely day